What's up you guys, it's Steph, and today we are here to talk about some bookish things. Today along the lines of fictional universes, or bookish universes, that I would not want to visit. These can all range from either the world would just be terrifying, pr pretty much the main part of not wanting to visit these universes. You know, <laughs> where I think the universe is terrifying, I don't think I would survive in the universe, whatever, we're just gonna roll with it. I thought this would be a fun video concept, so let's get going. Now, I've read quite a few zombie books, and zombie books are always kind of, yeah, I don't think I'd last in those. <laughs> but the one zombie book that I am going to mention for this list is Eat Brains Love by Jeff Hart. Now, this one, if you haven't seen my book talk, whoa, promo, <laughs> help me keep my monetization, guys, and watch my, my videos. <laughs> this universe, up to 2013, because I believe that is when the book was released, this universe is very, very similar to our own, except for one thing. Can, can you guess? The zombies. The dead. <laughs> and, but the whole concept of zombies is really cool in here because you can have, they're just people that they look exactly the same, they can talk, but it, they can talk, they can do normal things, but if they get too hungry, that's when you have a problem. That's when they go zombie out or they go full zombie. Their skin will look all rotten, they're like animals excited, their brain will take over. It's freaking nuts, you guys. Okay? <laughs> And I just, like, it freaks me out to think like if you have a, a normal conversation with someone, just like, wait, you okay, bro? And then it's time to eat me, and then they come back to normal, like, ah. Ah, shit. I mean, how terrifying would that be? And then, like, they just eat you. No one's gonna find you, and they're like, oh. They're, zomb they're like, half zombie. And it's scary. It's a scary thought. It's scary. <laughs> Next up is a book that I have very strong feelings about. And we all know that I have very strong feelings about this book. But that's Children of Eden by Joy Graceffa, and if you've watched if my channel for a while, you know I have strong feelings about this book. I tried. No, I might not like the book, but the world was very interesting, and they just been a little bit more. And it, it could have been so. It could have been so beautiful. But anyway, the world of Eden is this kind of dystopian society that's domed off. It's the last like surviving bits. You know, all that fun stuff. And they have to eat like seaweed, was it seaweed or kelp? Algae, I think it was algae. They have to eat algae. Uh, their ho their homes are like nothing is natural anymore. Everything's artificial. And then you have like the whole government ruining everything for everyone because they're dicks, you know. <laughs> Calling all the good stuff for themselves and keeping secrets that the world is not what it seems. Dun dun. But yeah, I would not want to be stuck in that dystopian society where you have like the rings of like of um, higher class in the middle, lower class in the outer rings, and just like eating algae. I can't get over eating algae. I can't get over it. That's like my my biggest thing in the world. It's like nah, there are parts where they sound really cool, but they get like have to eat algae. Nah. Next up is a book that I find, like, the whole concept of it's really interesting. But the world would terrify me, and that is Beasts Made of Knights. Now this book, your sins can become actual beasts that can attack and kill you. I mean, if you slay one, you get a sick tattoo, but if it slays you, you just get dead. Not very fun. <laughs> Number four on my list, we have one that I'm really anticipating to read. But if I lived in this world, I really don't know what I would do. And that is, they both die at the end by Adam Silvera. Now I know this world, this world is supposed to be pretty much similar to ours again. But the only thing is that you get told on the day you're going to die that you're going to die that day, and you're going to die sometime that day. And just having the knowledge that you're going of what day you're going to die, like on the day of it, like, hey, guess what? This is your last one. That's terrifying. That's like so much pressure. I, I don't know how to describe it. Like. To know that like, the exact day you're gonna die, like the, the anxiety it would induce, the paranoia, that oh my gosh, I can't, I haven't read this book by the way. I it's I, it's a very anticipated read for me, but I just I just got it. I haven't read it yet, but like the whole world is, it has a kind of level of like terrifying anxiety to it. I feel like if I was in that same world, I would you, you, <laughs> I would dread that phone call every day or that announcement every day. I would the day it actually came, I don't know what I would do. And like this, the pressure, like this is the last day, I have to make it a good one, I have to go out good, but... <laughs> I don't know, 
man. It's just... Just thinking about it, it's like, oh, God. Oh, man, what if you knew? What if... Oh, that... It, it stresses me out, and I haven't even read the book. I'm not even in that universe. It stresses me out just to think about, like, if I knew the day I was going to die. If someone called me today, it's like, hey, this is your last day on Earth. I would be freaking the f out, okay? <laughs> and finally, it's just a kind of general book thing. It goes for, like, this entire series of books. But I only, and I only have one with me because I'm not obviously not going to bring all of them out. And that is pretty much anything, <laughs> any of the Fear Street novels by R.L. Stein, any of his uh, kind of teen Fear Street novels. Yeah, these get kind of, but, um, <laughs> yeah, these were always, th these are the horror stories that really hooked me in the reading. R.L. Stein is one of my favorite authors, as you guys may or may not know. He is one of my absolute favorite authors. He's one of my biggest inspirations in this world. And his books, like, I would hate to live on Fear Street or, like, live around Fear Street. Like, oh my goodness, I love these stories so much. I actually need to, need to start reading them again. But just the horror that always comes with living on the street or knowing someone on the street and just like the, the connection to it and his universes are always, always have that little terrifying factor. They always have like the darkness to them. I love it so much. But living in it, no. <laughs> I would never leave my house. Even that can be dangerous. I mean, we have so many books about things that were already in the house from R.L. Stein. Stay out of the basement. Fun times. <laughs> and there you guys go. There's five fictional universes that I would not want to visit because I kind of value my life. So <laughs> I would not want to visit those fictional universes. Although, it might be cool if I could just pop in really quick, say, hey, bye, <laughs> and then pop right back out. But if I was stuck in them, I wouldn't be having a good time, okay? If you like my video, please give it a thumbs up and let me know down in the comments below what fictional universe do you not want to visit? Would you not want to go to the Harry Potter universe because of all the chances of death? Or would you totally go because I think I would. I would totally go. I mean, magic. 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 <laughs> would you avoid the Hunger Games at all costs? I think that would be a good one to put on here, but I never read those books. Whoops, the secret's out. I think I've said it in a video before, too, though. But, yep, I never read the Hunger Games. <laughs> Doesn't seem like a fun universe, though. Whatever fictional universe you don't want to visit, let me know down in those comments below because let's talk about it. I think it'd be fun to discuss different universes we would and wouldn't visit. If you're new to my channel, hey, do you like what you saw? You can always hit subscribe down there on my little face icon right here because it really helps me out and lets me know that you enjoy my content. You'll be notified as to when I post future content on every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. If you'd like to see Monday's video where I talked about some other fictional universes in the musical genre, check that out right here. If you want to see a mystery video that I haven't decided what, which one is going to be yet, but it'll be here, right here, you can check that out right there. And that's all I've got for you guys today. I really hope you have a lovely day slash night, and I'll see you later.